Is there any tools that you think we might need outside of these boards? And I think I got everything I need. I got everything I need. I got everything I need. You need to make another trip, don't you? Yes. Damn it. Damn it. Hey everyone, we're up here at site one and we're gonna do some fixing today. We don't have a whole lot of exciting pig work that needs to be done around the farm. No pigs need to be loaded. No overstocks are going out. We don't really have to sort any pigs anywhere. And harvest, it's right around the corner. Corn's drying out, but we're just not quite there yet. It's kind of slow around here. I was sick last week. Uh, we're getting back into the swing of things and we're up here at site one and dad's gonna show you what we're gonna upgrade. Where'd he go? There he is. How's it going? Oh, great. So I told him we're gonna do some fixing today and we're gonna do some upgrading today. So Upgrades. what are we doing in here to start with? Well, you remember when I was bitching about this gate, about swinging this gate and how heavy this gate is and how I need a wheel on it and I put that wheel on, it didn't work. Well, I gotta get these people's name right. So it's Lundell Plastics and it's from Odebolt. Have you ever heard of Odebolt, Iowa? I haven't either. But anyway, they make all kinds of plastic stuff. Well, they make these wheels that are the right size for the bottom, bottom rung on a gate, and you bolt them on there with stainless steel bolts, and then they just roll. And it's supposed to be a slick setup. So rather than having to fight this gate, I'm going to put one of these on. If I like it, I'm going to put one on this gate. I'm gonna put one on this gate. And the reason uh, that we kind of want these uh, wheels on these gates is when, especially this gate, this is probably the most important gate. Right. When we're loading pigs and we bring them up here to the loading chute, it's nice to have this gate as a uh, safety blanket to just throw against the wall so that the pigs, if they do get back on you, they don't run all the way back down the hallway there. They just stop right here when the gate slams into that post but if you don't have a wheel on there you can't really power your gate that far without it dragging and it won't end up actually getting there so having a wheel will help us get it there the way that we want when we need it to we're trying to get rid of the human error right pigs will always have errors there's nothing you could do about that but we can try to do better ourselves yeah it's not an error on their part it's a victory on their part it's success on their part we're trying to foil their success well to put the new one on we got to take the old one off that's screwed and dad doesn't have a socket so he's gonna have to do it the old fashioned way slow and steady there you go Now the only question is gonna be whether this thing is tight enough that it stays put or whether it tries to migrate. Oh, look at that. What do you think of that? Way better. That rolls like butter. Well, that's pretty nice. And there's something about at three in the morning when you're dragging that across the concrete, that metal. Makes your ears just yeah. bleed. Well, I think he's hooked because he's adding it to a second gate. I might pull one of these on my boot. Wheelie around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah, what were those? What were They're those? called wheelies. wheelies. Yeah. Yeah. We need to make a pair of gum boots with them. With so wheels on the, on the heel of them? Have to be all stainless steel because it yeah, tolerance is to have to be a little loose for all the pig shit, but hmm. yeah, probably not a good idea. Well, soon we'll be putting that gate to use up here. These pigs have been here for probably four to five months, four months. We're getting close to that first cut mark where we'll be starting to load out first cuts out of here. I bet once we get done emptying my site, 
they'll be ready to go right after. So it'll be bang, bang, bang. They're looking good. It'll be here before you know it. Something doesn't look right. All I know is that doesn't look like that's supposed to be like that. What happened? What do we do? Is this the fixing portion of today's exercises well, and activity? It's not really fixing. It's doing what we should have done a long time ago. But when we got the end wall done, we got busy. And we've been running this barn just straight tunnel. So it has the natural curtain hasn't opened. But the reason it hasn't opened is because, well, it really can't open anyway. And we don't have the machine mounted. Today we're going to at least mount the machine. I'll get it wired up because we're going to get here to fall and it's going to cool off and we're going to want to run these barns in natural. And this one, we can't do it yet. So we've been just manually running this in tunnel for a while because we can't put the curtains down because the machine's not hooked up. It's been hot to where it would run in tunnel anyway. There's actually been very little time that it would be a natural because the pigs are big and it's hot, but we're getting to fall. So we're getting to fall. We're getting to winter where we're going to need those curtains to either go up or down. All right. So we need two two by fours because we got to make this machine mount on this wall, but there's the shim here and we got to have one two by four on this side and one two by four on this side for it to be flush and make it work. We're going to go cut two two by fours. 64 inches 69, inches 69 inches 69 that's the magic number boys. that is the magic number now while we're down here is there any tools that you think we might need outside of these boards i think we've got everything up there because i took the i took the two impacts with a 9 16 drive for the lag bolts i've got a set of drill bits in my bag. I mean, I don't have everything. I to, trust you. I don't have everything to wire it because I got to get a piece of flexible conduit and I think I'm out. But other than that, I think I got everything I need. 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 These don't have to be fancy. What do you got? How long is 69. it? 69. It's 71 and a half. So 71. if we just cut it and cut those nails off? Yeah, we'll be able to cut these nails right off. Mark it. That was the easy part. I had to give you a bigger hammer to compensate for your lack of strength. Yeah, got a I nail? get it. I get it. You got a nail bar? I got spaghetti arms, so... <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, we didn't use the highest quality uh, wood that we had around here, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Uh, so this board had a couple nails in it, but we're getting them out and it'll do the job and we'll use our good lumber for some other good project that's more important than this one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Come on. I'm about there to the end go. of my abilities with this pry bar there we go okay there you go some high quality junk lumber that we gonna repurpose we're repurposing hey everything's got a purpose yep that's right this someday this will do someday you'll repurpose me probably yep you don't look happy why is that because i brought the impact because all i could think about was zipping those uh lags into those boards but i didn't bring a drill I know that if I try to run a lag through them without drilling a pilot hole, they'll just split because they're dry. You need to make another trip, don't you? Yes. Damn it. Damn it. But other than that, I think I got everything I need. I even asked him. I even asked him. I said, is there any tools that you think we might need? You'd forget your head. He'd forget your head if it wasn't screwed on. That's right. He would. Thanks, Lars. I'm glad it was where you needed it to be. You and me both. Nice. I don't like being lefty over here. Well, it's good for you. It builds up your arm strength on the yep, left side. That's right. So do another one just like that.
perfect. This machine, the way it gets mounted, you got to get up high enough that these cables clear the tops of the fans. So the bottom of this machine is going to be about this high and the top is going to stick up past the top of our boards and you can see where it was lagged before but what's changed is when we redid this building this end wall this is now a two by six end wall so it sticks out away we really can't mount it the way the other one was so what we're going to do is we're going to put two lags here and then we're going to drill through this case and put two lags at the top and the very top of it isn't going to be lagged like the other ones are because we don't have even if we built that out it would be so it wouldn't be structurally that's that strong so we're just not going to do that look at that Okay, now we're gonna crank up these curtains because we had them down because we shut the fans off while we were working. But when we do that, we gotta make sure that the tension is even between this side and the side over there. You wanna make sure as you crank them up that that cable stays on that pulley because if it gets off, it'll get caught under there and that is a pain in the ass. And there's one of those on both sides. So you wanna kinda ease them up and make sure they stay on until you get tension equal on both sides and then you can crank them up the rest of the way. Nice job. You did such good work. You should do this side just so you're in practice. Right there. Well, that'll do for now. We'll wire it up at a different time, but Hey, at least we got it on there. Looks better than when we started today. So we'll get her wired up eventually. Okay, last project of the day. We're gonna load some dirt, haul some dirt, and dump some dirt, and spread some dirt. There used to be an old garage that sat here, and we tore that down, and we repaved this our driveway to our house because it was in terrible shape. The drop off was pretty good. So I've already hauled quite a bit of dirt in here. If I can get one more load, I'll smooth this out and then we're gonna try to seed it down, get grass growing because Lord knows we need more grass to grow. It's another one of those projects that this is a time of year where all the stuff that you're like, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. You better get it done because harvest is gonna be upon us. We figured this afternoon might be a good time to do that. I think dad got, he got the cart all full. I don't know how long we've had this cart for. And there really hasn't been a whole lot of purpose for it for a long time. But I guess for hauling dirt, it'll do the job. So we're gonna get it hauled over to his garage and dump this bad boy. You know what that looks like? What? That one time you couldn't make to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good for old dilapidated equipment. All right, well now I'm gonna try to smooth that out and play landscaper. Hotel rooms is where I found peace. I spent my whole life running. It's gonna take, it's gonna take, it's gonna take my heart and soul, my heart and soul. This'll do. <laughs> 
baby. This will do. I mean, I'm not a fucking landscaper, but that looks pretty good. I either need to pull a little of this down right here. But other than that, that's not too bad. I might put a little more right there. All in all. Good enough for the girls we date. For not knowing what you're doing, not too bad. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe for more golf course building tips at thisldofarms.com. We'll see you in the next one, boys. Hopefully we don't do anything stupid and we make it back for next week.